Hey guys, this is Swordfish, and today I am checking out Cadence, which is a really cool kind of music puzzle game that's on Kickstarter at the moment. Uh, I, <clears throat> it's really, really interesting, so I'm excited to check it out. It's already giving me instructions. Drag between two notes to create a new connection. So, boop. And now the goal of this game is to basically create loops. So... These are directional, so this goes this way, and then this way, and then this way, and this way, and that's a loop. So if I drag this, and then click the pulsing one, it... boom, 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 boom. and once it loops enough times, then it says, all right, go to the next level. So let's go to the next level. Um, now this goes like that. Now we want it to loop, so we drag it here. And that's, that didn't work. Drag the environment to look around. Oh, they're also three-dimensional. <laughs> it's so cool. So what we actually need to do, let's unconnect that, is drag this one here, and then this one here, and that'll make a loop. And look at the... The... Like, that's so cool how it makes the, like, kind of pulsy, spidery-looking... Like ghost of your of your notes, I love it. This game has a nice pace as it's building up. So this is sort of their alpha demo that describes the different mechanics and shows kind of how the game works. As it gets to the end, there's a couple demo levels that I'll get to that are like super huge and already completed, just to kind of show you what's going on. So I'm going to go through the different kind of mechanics that the game presents and show you what the possibilities are. And so, yeah, that's the idea. I'm going to play most of the alpha, but I might skip around a little bit. So these send two pulses, or they send a pulse down every direction. So I want to send it back to here. So if I send... Also, you notice that these can only go one way. So if I send it this way, it'll go boop, and then it'll send these, and they'll send it back, like boop that awesome all right uh and then kind of similarly we send these here and then they'll go this one and then they'll send it back to that one very nice okay now this is already connected but if they collide, they short circuit. So you have to disc. So right now, this one sends here and it goes that way, and it sends here and goes that way, and they collide in the middle and breaks it. So we gotta break that connection. Now that one is interesting because it's not a continuous loop, it starts different, and then it goes into a loop from there. Which is also valid, as long as it ends up looping. It works fine. So here we've got, um... This was just a slightly more complicated version of the same thing, so probably if we do this... We might get a collision. Yeah, let's remove that. And I think that'll do it. Perfect. Go ahead, activate the toolbar in the top left. What's this? Change the sound in real time. There's all these different, uh, different sounds. And it changes live. I'm not gonna play all of these, but my favorites are, um, the default one. I like square blip. Uh, bells. This is sort of like an atmospheric, kind of mellow feeling game, so I like the the mellower ones. So both of the bell, or not that one, no. mallets, I like. Yeah. But I think the default is actually my favorite right now. It's the mellowest. And then there's this filter panel, which right now is only supported by Gentle Giant. So if you see, if I drag this around, it changes the quality of the sound. So I'm gonna leave it on default because it's my favorite one, and move on to... Now, this level is kind of... Well, I'll just, I'll just do it and do it and see. 
I think it's this. Yeah. And now we'll move on to a new thing. These are, I call them bouncers. So instead of relaying it, they bounce it back and forth. Love that. And they sort of... <clears throat> so this is a cool one because technically... Now, this is an interesting demonstration. So if we wanted to make a loop, this is a loop. Just fine. This is an additional mechanic. If a, an item isn't included in the loop, it, um, if it doesn't play a sound, it builds up energy and explodes. So we need to include the bouncer. Well, that's not how to do it. We include the bouncer here. But we can also include it here. Or here. And then we get a lot of bouncing. Which I think is very neat. Uh, here's one more with a bouncer. Let's see, if I send this one... Let's try this. I don't remember. Yeah, that works. That sounds super cool. Now let me just... Just for fun, let me connect those up also. Oh yeah, that didn't work. Okay, so this is the solution to that one. Love it. Alright, and now this is a new one. Now, <clears throat> if you click them, you hear the sound they're going to make, by the way. I don't think I showed that before. But, um... I call this one a charger? I don't know what else to call it. Basically... It has to get hit once to light up, and then the next time it gets hit, then it emits a sound and passes the charge through. So, like, if I do this, it'll light up and stay charged. But if I pass another... So... That, see if that kind of made sense? So I'm just going to connect them all up and see what happens. For the early levels, connect them all and see what happens is basically the answer. That's a workable solution. As you get further in the game that doesn't work anymore, you have to be more strategic about it. But, like, right now they're just kind of demonstrating the concept, so... Connect them all up and see what happens is... Now this one isn't gonna work because this one didn't get charged, so it needs to get connected again, I think. Like that? Is that gonna work? Yep, that's a loop. Very nice. All right. Here we are. Now, we are in the other paths section of the game now. So, that was New Dawn. Now, other paths still introduces new concepts, but now it's orange and yellow, which is lovely. Um, let me let me see how this let me just go with the connect everything and see what happens route. Well, that was a cool noise. Whatever. That was a super cool Nice. It worked. All right, and now we have a teleporter. So when he gets to this one, it teleports back to here, basically. And that'll be useful in some things. So, like, for example, this will go... Oh, wait. It goes... Oh, wait. Oh, it starts here, but... If I click it, it sends it out of here. So that's maybe not what I want. Or maybe it is. Maybe I want to do this. Let's do that. Ah, oh, that connect that collided. Okay. Well, this may be just let's just see. That's the colli that's the collision right there. Maybe that'll do it. No. Now this was getting not included. So that doesn't work. Interesting. See, now this is kind of maybe the first level where connect them all up and see what happens doesn't work. So let me reset it. 
This is the first one that goes. So what if I do this? It sends it back here. So if I... It sends it out of this one. What if I do... Disconnect this, it'll go... It'll pass it like this, back and forth. Okay? And then what if I do this? That'll be a loop and it'll all include them. Perfect! Very nice. Uh... I want to skip ahead a little bit to the next new concept, which is only one level, and this I call a focuser. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm sure they have names for them. But basically, this will emit, if it gets hit with more than one, so if I just hit it like that, it just absorbs the sound. If it gets hit from more than one direction, then it will emit a sound in the other direction. So what this is going to do is send one here and nothing will happen. But when it sends them here and they send it to that, it'll shoot one back up. So, watch. It's kind of like a prism. It, it directs the sound through out a different direction. Which is kind of neat. So this is kind of a more complex arrangement of those. If we send it through the loop, so, this will go here, and then I'm going to send it to these two, and these will both send it here, and then this will send it back to the beginning. Like so. You can see how they're starting to get to be, like, more complex paths of, like, it really has to go a bunch of different directions. You have to kind of plan out how it's going to connect. You can't just hook them all up to each other. And, um... One more, maybe, because this game is fun. Oh, this one is tricky. I remember I had a hard time with this. Um, because, let's see if I can do it now. So this has to start here, but it can't only be here, because that isn't going to work. So if I do this, it'll go here and here. But this one, basically, this has to send it here. Or... Er, this has to... It's really... Hmm. This is tricky. Yeah, I forget. Let me just see how this happens. So it's... That doesn't do anything. Maybe if I... I'm gonna... Con this is the connect them all up and see what happens. This is not gonna work. There's a collision here. Because of this connection. What if I break that? Nope still a collision there. Um, what if I break that? Now this is just gonna bounce. <clears throat> what if this then resets the loop? It's gonna kick it here to reset the... Nice! I did it through logic! The first time I just kind of played around, but that makes more sense. This makes a loop to do that. Perfect. Alright, and this I think is the last new concept that they introduce in the demo, which I call a pair emitter. So, when this triggers, this also triggers, the matching one. Now, interesting, I wonder what the other sounds sound like. Oh. They're set to different presets. But fat strings really works for this one. Nice. Now we're moving on to two-part sounds. So we have two different sections here, which is pretty awesome. And there's a pair emitter. So when this one triggers, this one triggers, which is awesome. So if I do this, let's see what happens. This may already be set up to work. Yeah, it does. We have two-part harmony going on. And you can switch between them and kind of see... This is making an awesome pattern, by the way. I love that. And you can see them kind of both going off into the distance. I love the style of this whole thing. It's so cool. All right. Next. Oh, I'm stuck in the middle. All right, there we go. A few more little two-parters. Where are we? Yeah, there's a couple more two-parters and then some demo levels. So let's just see if I can't uh, put these together here. 
so let's this one is more simple so let's do this first i think this actually doesn't have to loop i think just curious if i start it all right it has to hit here so what happens this doesn't loop and that's fine it's allowed to not loop as long as something loops and all of them get pressed. So, curious. If I hit all three of these with this and they all hit this one at the same time, it'll only make one pulse here. And then if I connect it to this one, it'll bounce it and keep pulsing this. That's super cool. What if I do this, just for fun? Let me bounce all these two. Um, more notes? Yeah, more notes. Still works. Not as good. Doesn't sound as good. I like this better. With the simple, with the simple one. Alright, cool. Now this is another, a little more complicated, uh... Connector. Now this is, uh sustainable non-looping so they'll both go here it'll shoot here and then bounce and die at this one because it can only go this way so we really only have to worry about this side making it not collide so um i'm going to hit both of these emitters at the same time so if i send it let's see which means that these have to go through two stages so what if I go here, and then here? That'll only be one. Um, what if I hit this? Yeah, if I do this, it's not going to do anything. It's just going to die here. So, and these did... What is that... That's not what I wanted. What does this do? Just curious. This does pass it through. Um, and triggered his buddy. Yeah. So in theory, this will loop. That'll loop it. So it, it goes... Let me show you. This will do... Go here and and cycle that one, and then if these both pass to the prism, and this passes back to the beginning, that should loop it. Awesome. And I think there's one more. This is Quarkscrew. I think, again, this one is already set up for kind of safe looping. Looks like it. We just have to make it work on this side. So... If these both need a trigger at the same time, that can't happen at first. Interesting. Because this can only go... That's going to happen, and that can't happen. That can't work. So, we got to pass it back to this. This is going to loop kind of out of order, which is cool. Um, I'm just trying stuff. Let's see what that does. Nothing? Oh, because this can only go that way. Uh, so that actually doesn't make sense. This... Let me split a bunch out from here. Or... See what happens. Um... Let's try that. Someone's not getting... This guy is not playing any sound. I think he's unhappy. And there's a collision. Um, can I do this? No. Well... Well, that's okay. So, <laughs> I don't need to solve all the puzzles. What I want to show you, 
finally is as it gets more complicated. So there's another one of these and then another one. So there's a few more. You get to a point, synth synthopia, there's five parts. This is a new one. This is a pulser. This just goes. Um, there's another pulser. There's also this one, which I'm not, I don't remember exactly what it does. There's an emitter and some teleporters. Basically, this is a really complicated one, and it's already set up as a demo. Ready for it? Oh, wait. What's... What's not looping? There's a collision in the third one. Here. This one pulses too quickly. Oh, this bounces. We don't want that to, to do that. There we go! He's just... This one is going slower. How amazing is that? We have our own little song beat loop thing going on here. So cool. Now I think... What happens if we do that? Is that gonna... We gotta... We gotta... A very slightly modified beat going on now. It's so cool that you can like tweak it just a little bit like that. Amazing. This one is kind of a similar... Oh, I'm stuck. Where am I? I was on the third level. That's okay. Um, kind of another... Nice. This dun 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 Let's see what we got here. This guy's getting left out here. Let's turn him off and get him in the mix. Got a little ride symbol action. Totally optional ride symbol action. Now, what if I connect him up? Yeah, that really changes the feel of it. Like, like a pretty significant amount. What if I connect him to that too? That's a collision, that doesn't work. All right, what if I connect him here instead? Different, but still interesting. So interesting that you can, the way that you can, let me, uh, let me bounce him. So what's he doing right now? Oh, that doesn't work. Okay, well... These are... Okay, so what if I connect him here instead? Changes the feel of it a little bit more. So that's the idea behind Cadence. I'm gonna hang out in this last mystery level here. These two guys with no looper. Uh, so that's Cadence. I think this is amazing, like an unbelievably awesome concept for a puzzle game and kind of like a music create beat whatever tool. It's so awesome. So I'm going to leave this going here while I talk. It's very mellow. So this game is currently running a Kickstarter campaign. Um, I strongly encourage you to go check it out. If this game looks interesting to you, back it, make it happen. It's a, I think it's a brilliant idea and like really a lot of fun. So, you know, like you can see how complicated the levels are going to get at the end with this one here where you've got to 
like piece together a five part freaking like orchestra of of sounds and it's oh man i love it so anyway go support the kickstarter if you're interested and and have the means to and thanks for watching i'm swordfish this is cadence thanks for watching bye bye